a trendsetter and a troublemaker. <laughs> Take a look at him in action on his hit show on the Sundance Channel. It's called Be Good, Johnny Weir. Feel aggressive. Feel like you're aggressive, man. Going to NHK Trophy, I'm more trained than I've ever been. More power. Jail Johnny. And I'm in the best physical shape. And the problem with that is, this is exactly how I felt before Russia. He's here. He's Weir. Get used to it. Please welcome the fabulous Johnny Weir. So tell me. No, you tell me, darling. <laughs> I love your ensemble. Well, thank you. I had to get all shiny and sparkly just for you. Thank you so much. Look at your pointy shoes. I know. Well, I have small feet. Oh. And um, I like to kind of extend the wealth of my foot. Uh-huh. But it, it, it hinders me a lot because I walk like a pony. Yes. An actual pony. Uh-huh. And I fall. I get my toes stuck in things all the time but I think they're hot. D uh, uh, <laughs> there's just so much to take in. <laughs> whose idea was the tiara slash fabulous, and did you make that? It is a Malo, a man halo. <laughs> and uh, there's a small company LA, in LA called Bando, and they made them for me. It's all antique crystals and things. Well, I think you're wonderful, Thank and you. I, did, I had no idea that you were my fellow resident in the Garden State, Jersey. Yes. Yes. Jersey-licious. Jersey and all that. And so you live right across the river, uh, probably with a Manhattan view, no doubt. 17 minutes, yes. Uh, 17 minutes away with your best friend, Paris. <laughs> well, Paris now lives in Jersey City. Oh. And I live in Lyndhurst, which is really close to the Meadowlands. They film The Sopranos there. Yes, yes, we know Lyndhurst here yes, in Jersey. We got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we were going to say towns, though. Well, and what? I don't what's, know. What's going to happen? Don't you have fans and, and people? Yeah, crazy, crazies. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Well, yeah, Hello. Looking, looking in the front. Okay, let's get right to it. Um, yesterday, Johnny and everybody, um, Evan Lysacek, a fellow skater from the Olympics, and he's also on Dancing with the Stars, um, he was asked about what he thought about you, Johnny, not being asked to participate in Stars on Ice, and here's what he said. Stars on Ice is, a really, select, is really selective about who they hire, and they only hire the best of the best to skate. It would have been hard for them to justify hiring him. And I think that he was upset because he wanted the financial benefit of the tour. A lot of us in the skating world were really disappointed in the way he reacted, basically whining that he wasn't chosen. Now, first, Stars on Ice is what they do after the Olympics. It's you make your money, you go out. Well, you make a little money. Okay. <laughs> so what do you say to this? Well, you know what? The Stars on Ice tour has never asked me to be part of their tour, and I've never had an issue with it because I have the opportunity to skate in Russia, in Japan, in Korea. As much as I would like to perform in the United States, my country, my home, I've never been asked to do it, and it's not a problem for me. But this year it was made a big issue about because of the Olympics and, and how popular I was during the Olympics. And uh, you know what? Even if they asked me today, I wouldn't do it. And Evan... He's, he's a slore. He's a slore. <laughs> Look, there, well, I have to tell you guys a little bit of background. There has been uh, ongoing issues with you and Evan, you know, one to the other. But I just want to thank you for making um, figure skating during the Olympics really, really interesting and fabulous. Well, thank you. For those of us who aren't normally attracted to the Olympics, that would be me, or figure skating, or any, you know, part of it, like I'm busy, you really just made it fun and, 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 and fabulous. So we talked about you during Hot Topics. Um, it got out that one of, one of um, you know, your, your pleasures before you do a big competition is that you like to <laughs> whip out a can of Pledge <laughs> and watch Atlanta Housewives naked. Yes. And start to clean. Well, yeah, I mean, nothing is more inspiring than NeNe Leakes. Oh. Or Kim Zosiak singing. Who are you telling? We love them, too. Wow. <laughs> so, but, but I, you know, I mean, there are worse things that, that athletes have been known to do to prepare for competition. So I just found that very, uh, very funny and tongue-in-cheek. So tell us about your show that's on the Sundance channel, Johnny Weir Be Good. Be good, Johnny Be good, Weir. Johnny Weir. Don't get twisted. Yeah, yes, <laughs> as I did. <laughs> no, we actually have a really big finale episode with the Olympics involved, the after-Olympic craziness of, of me and my life. 
And uh, the show's been really great. Be Good Johnny Ware has been such an experience. It's like my home movies. Yes. While I never really realize there are cameras around all the time and people following me and, you know, seeing when I have a pimple or when I've just woken up and my, you know, my eye goes lazy. Um, I, I never notice it and it, it's like when I see the show or when I see footage, it's like my home movies. It's very special and I wanted the world to see what the life of an elite athlete was really like. I'm not a housewife out spending my husband's money and, and buying stuff. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not singing in a contest. I'm a real athlete. Everybody else has something. reality shows. I find that this is very interesting. And Why don't you, you have one? You know, I do. It's called <laughs> the Wendy Williams Show. <laughs> but I want to see you um, without the lashes. I want to see you first thing in your kimono. I can just imagine. I can't. I'm not built for it. You have to be built for it, you know, to do something like that. I'm just, you know, not that girl. Well, I mean, do you ever roll around in your closet and play with heels? Yes. I want to see that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'll be over later. <laughs> you, you know, um, one thing that I do want to compliment you on is your creativity. Your costumes are just the cat's meow. I Thank mean, you. you dress the most when you skate. <laughs> that's his homage to Lady Gaga. Now, yeah. from now, I hear you design, and that's your homage to. That's a swan. Look that's how creative swan. that is. That is the swan. Yes. Well, I got to tell you. So you don't sew, but you do design, and you're performing tomorrow night. Everybody, people can see you tomorrow night. Tell yes, us about in that. In New York City at Chelsea Piers, it's the opening night of the Ice Theater of New York. And it's a big benefit for AIDS Walk New York. That's fabulous. Johnny, so nice to meet you. Thank I'll you. see you somewhere at a rest stop in Jersey. Yeah. It's Johnny Weir, everybody. Be sure you check out Johnny, a big good Johnny Weir on the Sundance Channel. For more information on everything Johnny, go to wendyshow.com. And you keep it here. Up next, she's a mother. She's an actress. She's a former first lady. The one and only Lisa Ray is here next. Keep it here. Honey.